time it's 5 a.m. in the morning and what I am doing here is uh, feeding all of these fish with uh, their fish food and if the tank is already uh, a lot of dirt then I have to do the water change because if not it might uh, the fish might get sick and eventually will die. So when I notice that the goldfish have white on their body, white slime on their body, what I'm doing is to have water change right away and I put salt in order to cure this kind of disease. that I am using to cure the white slime on the goldfish body so this is a uh, ordinary salt it's a table salt okay so you can use uh, aquarium salt much better but because I don't have uh, aquarium salt then I use this uh, table salt so I put two teaspoon of table salt and I put it directly into this tank so this will cure the goldfish from the white slime forming on its body I've been uh, performing this uh, rock salt treatment to my goldfish when I notice that there is a white slime forming on its body and it is very uh, effective in uh, curing white slime on the goldfish body. This is my brand shrimp hatchery and I prepare this yesterday morning and now this is ready to be harvested to be fed to my viscous fry and also we will be feeding my guppies. I also have here another two more brand shrimp uh, actually okay, so this one is a.m. Okay, I prepare this in the morning and this one is PM. So I prepare this in the evening so that I will not have a lot of brown shrimp to feed my guppies and my uh, fish fry just like discos and uh, corridora fry. Here in this tank is my corridora fry. Okay, so I've been feeding this with the uh, brown shrimps also here in this tank is another set of corridor fry and in this tank are my corridor breeder so there are uh, 20 pieces of uh, bronze corridor here that I am currently breeding I enjoy breeding corridor because corridor very easy to breed and they can lay eggs every two weeks if you properly feed them with a good and quality food and also Corridora is a good fish to breed for profit because the price of Corridora in the pet shop or in the market is uh, very competitive okay? so you can sell it for 60 pesos uh, from 60 to 80 pesos but in the pet shop or in the market you can buy it for 
120 to 160 pesos each Corridora. It's time to harvest these uh, branches. So we just have to remove the air okay, and then leave it for five minutes. What will happen is that the branch roots that are hot will uh, sink down and the uh, heads that are not hot will sink up. And then after five minutes, that's the time you can handle harvest the branch roots to be filled. So, the first one. know that your brown shrimp is ready to be hatched when it turns into color orange okay so here you will notice that the hatchery is color orange okay so this is uh, already good for to be harvest compared to here so this one here is uh, I prepare this uh, last uh, yesterday afternoon and you will notice that the color here is color brown so it is not yet ready to be harvested now we are ready to harvest this Branch roots. Branch roots, okay, feeding your fry with branch roots is very important. Keep your fry alive. And this is also very important in growing your uh, fry. So, this is all the branch shrimps that we got. What I will do is to add water and then we are ready to feed this to my fry to my fry first we will be feeding my discus fry and later we will be feeding my uh, guppies with these branch shrimps And here is my blue grass, my albino full red, I have albino platinum dumbo air mosaic, and another blue grass, another albino full red, and my RDSS. First week to four weeks of the guppies, I've been feeding them purely with the branch shrimp. But with the rich four weeks, then alternate feeding of branch shrimp and guppy uh, pellets. Down here are my guppy breeders, female guppy breeders, and this is my technique in uh, ensuring that all the guppy fry, that the female guppy will lay, are all safe from the female guppies. Here is my technique. I use this one. I bought this from the market and. I also have this green screen so this green screen is the smallest screen okay the hole here of the screen is the smallest size uh, female guppy will not 
go outside from this uh, breeding, uh, breeding container. In this way, this makes sure that this ensure that the guppies that the female will lay are safe. So this guppy here is my bluegrass female guppy. Okay. Platinum white guppy. Okay. So the male the male in the box and the female is outside the box. So sometimes the female jump out from the box. Okay. And the most important here if you will notice the dates okay so this this is the date okay so this uh, female bluegrass guppy dropped the fry last uh, February 6 and the next drop of this uh, female guppy would be on March 3 okay so if you will count it's uh, 25 days okay 25 or 28 days between from 25 to 28 days, there's a possibility that this female guppy will drop another fry. So make sure if you see that your female guppy started to drop fry, then you have to put the dates and you have to count from 25 to 28 days and then mark it. And to be sure that this female guppy will start to drop another fry this coming March 3 so marking your tank with dates making sure that you are on schedule and making sure that your female guppy will drop on the next date from 25 to 28 days Here is my bluegrass, another bluegrass, last January 11, albino fall red, last December 6, and my RDSS, last uh, November 5, and November 29, so there are two batch here of RDSS. If you want to learn more about Guppy breeding, discus breeding, goldfish breeding. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. If you want to be notified for my latest video, don't forget to click the bell button. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. And once again, thank you so much for watching my videos. Have a nice day. God bless and see you next time.